What's up, Gorman? Today is have fun at work day. So let's go have some fun with some of our staff. So today's Miss Braun's birthday. Let's go have a little birthday party. Miss Braun, we heard it's your birthday. No, it's your birthday, Mrs. Braun. Happy birthday. Thank you. This is fun? This is fun? Bishop Gorman. I'm Stone Spiegel. And I'm Jacob Aloof. And, and this, this is BGTV. Today is Friday, January 26th, and it is National Have Fun at Work Day? Who put a question mark on the teleprompter? Stone, Stone, it's all right. I decided to have a little fun at work today. Jacob, don't mess with the script ever again. Okay, pal. Anyways, Jacob, I've been addicted to my phone lately. Are you a screenager? No, no. Speaking of phones, Rocco, Grayson, and Zarin caught people doing exactly what you are not supposed to do with them at school. Watch and learn. What's up, Bishop Gorman? I'm Rocco. I'm Zarin. And we are the, the phone, phone rest. rest. Phone checks, phone checks. Let's see. Oh, ah, just like I thought. Um, whose phone, phone is this? Come here. Yes, yes, you. What is this? My phone. That's gonna be a two hour detention, buddy. Yes, In sir. Coordination. Yeah. Off and in the caddy from 8 a.m. to 2.35. Go ahead and take this. It's going with this. That's going to be taken up to the deans. Whoa. Oh. Huh. What's going on over here? And AirPods? This is another flag flag on the play. Sir. Huh? Do you want to go ahead and step this way? Oh, that another one? I'm going to take that too. Two and one. Call it a combo. Remember, Gales, phones should be turned off and in the phone caddy at all times. And they should never be used during school hours. Thanks, guys. At the end of the show, I'm going to put my iPhone in my backpack. Jacob, what in the world are you doing? I'm dancing. Oh, that reminds me. Our Bishop Gorman dance team participated in their first regional championship title. Grace and Lucia have more. Roll the clip. Coaching would be just having a connection still to dance. I am excited to be able to teach the youth everything that I've learned from my coach. I want this team to be one of the powerhouses here. I love that I have the opportunity to kind of build my own program. I'm supported by everyone around me and I'm super excited for what's to come. My favorite part, I think, is when the song picks up. It's just about halfway. I think that that's when the team really gets into it. Um, they're able to show like their true dancing ability, and they're able to show like 
how far they've come. We started off slow, but now we're here to stay and we're here to make a name for ourselves. So that's my favorite part. Then when I got to Gorman, I really wanted to be on the dance team. So I tried out and I made it and it's been a great experience ever since. Being captain is a lot of work and it's very stressful at times, but for the most part, it's a lot of fun. And I like being able to help plan everything and be there for the girls. The love that we all have for each other. We're a very close group of girls. In the dance community, I would say the UNLV Rebel Girls and Company have inspired me the most. They have such a strong passion for dance and they work so hard to get what they want and it just like does something to me where it just makes me want to work as hard as I can. I think having the Rebel Girls and Company help us out and having them motivate us was just really fun but you just really have to work hard. It's very different from the past years. It's not just kind of perform and you go. It's all about the work ethic. I don't dance a lot but I sure do enjoy busting a move. Same here, Jacob. Next week is Catholic Schools Week. Do you know why we celebrate at Stone? No, I don't, Jacob. Well, lucky for you, Stone, Bella interviewed Campus Ministry to find the meaning and why we celebrate Catholic Schools Week. Let's find out. Hi, Bishop Gorman. My name is Isabel Maldonado, and today we interviewed Campus Ministry in the Theology Department to figure out why and how we celebrate Catholic Schools Week here at Gorman. Let's take a look. Catholic Schools Week is important because it reminds us that our school is not like every other school. Our school has this emphasis of, um, of our faith, really. Um, but education was really an important aspect of our faith. Like, we all heard the phrase that knowledge is power. Um, and knowledge is really important. And so the better education that we receive, the, the better, really, like, we can go on in life. Catholic Schools Week is important because it celebrates what Catholic schools are, their existence, and why they are important and the differences between Catholic schools and Catholic education and um, really any other school, private or public. I believe that Bishop Gorman is a great community. It's an ideal of um, what a Catholic community should be. Certainly we're not perfect, but we are community. We're all about community and that's why Catholic schools exist. My favorite faith aspect of the school is actually our grotto, um, primarily because of how many students use it. So I love seeing just the, the small groups of students that come in to light the candle to say their prayer. Um, and I also love the fact that now we have a full-time chaplain so that daily mass can be available to students. And then we really have this faith and our education as one, not one or the other, but how faith is infused into our education so that we can be uh, the person that we're called to be. On another note, congratulations to 32 students on qualifying for the Na International Thespian Competition. Go Gales! Now, let's switch gears to sports. As you all know, our football team won the ESPN National Championship. Let's check out how their banquet went. So What's up, Gorman? Over the weekend, I was invited to the Varsity Football Banquet. Come check out some of the highlights. On Saturday, the football team celebrated their season at the Red Rock Casino. 17 of the players were recognized as scholar athletes. Number 10, Captain Charles Correa. We were served a delicious dinner while the coaches shared some wisdom. Proverbs 27 17, which is as iron sharpens iron, one man sharpens another. And uh, it's a big standard we build our program on. The struggles that are going to happen, they're going to come through. Awards were given out to the athletes who stood out this season, including Jacob Norcross, <laughs> Isaiah Duncan. The middleweight champion is Devon Rush. Shortly after, all five captains gave a heartfelt speech, and Captain Charles Correa gave some advice to the team next year. To my young guys, my simple message to you is just keep going. Keep working hard, keep showing up every day, and keep doing the little things that set you apart from every other team in the country. Lots of thank yous were said to end the night. I want to thank the coaching staff for all they've done, for mentoring you guys as you've heard, and you can hear from these players. It's been an honor to be your coach and serve into this program. I've been blessed. Thank you, parents, for trusting us with your kids. I love you guys. Everybody be safe tonight. God bless. This is Sutton Stoft reporting for BG TV. Thanks, Sutton. I'm so sad I won't be able to watch the team next year. That's the way the cookie crumbles. What, Jacob? Never mind, Stone. Whatever. Let's hit the ball over to Ben for sports. Ben? 
Hey BG, I'm Benjamin Vosco and there's a lot happening in sports. The men's basketball play team played against Centennial on Wednesday night and won 82 to 54. They're hitting the road this weekend to play Notre Dame, the Notre Dame Knights from Sherman Oaks, California. The women's basketball team played Arbor, Arbor View last night and secured a victory with a score of 73 to 44. Additionally, the women's flag football team played Del Sol on Wednesday night and won with a score of 27 to seven. Shifting to sports outside the G, this weekend's conference championship games begin with the AFC's Kansas City Chiefs playing against the Baltimore Ravens on Sunday at 12 o'clock. On the NFC side, the Detroit Lions are playing in their first conference championship game since 1992 and are playing against the San Francisco 49ers at 3.30. These games determine who plays Super Bowl 54 at Allegiant Stadium. In hockey, the Vegas Golden Knights face off against the New York Rangers tonight at 4 o'clock. That's the latest in sports today. Thanks, BG. Thanks, Ben. Tomorrow is January 27th, and it is National Holocaust Remembrance Day. I interviewed Dr. Joseph Shalev on why Holocaust remembrance is important. Enjoy. What's up, Bishop Gorman? It's Stone Spiegel. On the 27th, it's National Holocaust Remembrance Day. This past weekend, I interviewed Dr. Joseph Shelov, a Holocaust survivor, to talk about his experiences and why Holocaust remembrance is important. Let's check it out. The first image I remember from the beginning of the Holocaust was when they kicked us out from our houses and moved us into the ghetto. I was about five years old and I had my little suitcase in my hand and we are going down the middle of the street and we had large amounts of people on both sides standing and jeering us and calling us a name. Out of my whole family that I had grandparents on both sides uncles, aunts, cousins, all of them passed away, were murdered by the Nazis. Most people that survived actually did pretty good afterwards because they went through such hard times that nothing could anymore scare them or affect them or shock them. You have to understand what anti-Semitism is, which a lot of people don't. Anti-Semitism is racism, that you have to look at people as people. It is so important that we make sure nothing like the Holocaust ever happens again. Remember, stay educated and never forget. Well, that's all we have for you today, Bishop Gorman. I'm Stone Spiegel. And I'm Jacob Malou. And, and this, this is, is your BGTV. BGTV.